Hi guys, here we've got this Sharp GF 1704M with a um, error. Let me just show you around the unit here. You've probably seen this on one of my previous videos. And just show you the back. Model number. Okay. Um, the problem is, let me just show you here. It's not playing tapes at all. So let me just plug the power in and show you. When you press play, nothing happened. This reel is supposed to be turning, but it's not. And um, you can see me just pressing fast forwards also. This reel on the right, I'll just highlight that for you. That's supposed to be turning, it's not moving at all. More than likely it's a problem with the belt. So I'm gonna have a look at that today. Okay, just disconnect the power and I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna have to open the unit up and have a look inside. I've got a selection of spare belts just in case. So I'm gonna undo this cover lively. There's a screw inside this battery cover as well, which I'll have to remove. And you can see I have done there, remove the knobs and everything. And you can see me just removing the cover here. It's still connected to the battery terminals. And uh, there's an aerial wire here, which connects to the PCB. Just got to remove that to get this far. Okay. Now I've got to remove the tape deck, which is on the right hand side here, the radio uh, departments on the right. Sorry, I've got to remove the cassette deck on the left hand side as you're looking at it. And you can see, um, I'll just re remove the PCB, which will give access to the belts. Here you can see there, the belt there, but it's loose. They usually uh, perish and melt, but this one's just um, probably the original. So it's just stretched out. It's been on there for 40 plus years, I suppose. So I'm just gonna replace it. So I'm just gonna prop this PCB up so, so I can gain access with this screwdriver. I'm not gonna take it off completely. Okay, let me just show you here. As you can see inside here, here's the belts. I've powered it up, switched it on, and as you can see, the motor's turning, but uh, the pulleys aren't turning. There's the caps down there, the big gray wheel. It's not turning at all. So what I've gotta do is, undo the belt so I'll just undo this capstan retainer and then just unhook the belt like so and then I can just pull the best the belt out from the capstan because I've re released the retainer those two screws as you see there and um, I've got a selection of belts, that's the old and new. So I'm just gonna fit the new belt, reverse of previous, just fitting it under the capstan retainer there. And then uh, just some matter of fitting the belt around the appropriate pulleys, as you can see I've done there. Just flick that belt over there, like so. And then it's just a matter of retightening this capstan retainer. Just two screws, tighten it back up. Okay, I've still got it powered up, so I'll just switch it on. And as you can see there, it's uh, running. Let's get a closer look. You can see all the pulleys turning now, cap stand, and the rewind pulley, all turning. which is good. So I'll just stop that. And reassemble the unit lively. Okay, I've got it all reassembled to show you here. Let me just open the cassette door and show you. When I press play, you can see the take up wheel spinning slowly. 
just stop that and I'll press fast forward so you can see it's spinning fast there that's the take up wheel and on the left, right hand side wheel that's the fast forward wheel rewind wheel sorry you can see that um, spinning also so I'll just put tape in try it I've only got the manic street features I'm afraid and as you can see here it's working fine so with that thanks for watching once again and please subscribe Oh, mm -hmm.